Every fighter pilot dreams of flying new airplanes and doing something new in their career. 25 years, this airplane's gonna be all over the world. Well, the uh, great thing about the helmet is it, it tells you when it's time to get a haircut. It's, uh, it's that <laughs> custom fit. It's a very simple airplane to fly. So instead of being more uh, stick and rudder type skills, we're gonna have a lot more uh, computerized type skills that are gonna be required to fly airplanes. In my F-16, I had a radar, I had a targeting pod, I had other sensors on the airplane that I had to, in my own mind, put together to have a tactical picture. Uh, this jet and Fusion puts all that stuff on my displays for me and all I really have to worry about is putting the cursors on something I want to shoot a missile on or you know, drop a bomb on, that kind of thing, and it works. So what am I going to do here? So if you want to fly, the airplane's actually flying now. If you want to oh, uh, take, the, uh, take the stick, and if you go faster, you'll do a quick barrel roll. There's no two-seat trainer at all. Correct. They knew at the time that the simulation was going to be good enough that we didn't need somebody in the back seat to show me how to flip the switches and uh, land the airplane when we first got it. How confident are you? <laughs> you like that sound? Sound of freedom. <laughs> From a pilot's perspective, how confident are you that this thing is actually going to work? Very as, confident. As promised. If they're still working on the software, but uh, anything that comes out, I mean, Apple and IBM, when they build new computers, have to work through software things when they start things up. We're working through the same issues on our end, too, and I'm confident the entire team is going to be able to put together a very good airplane.